Hi, uh, welcome back to Simone Solwing's YouTube channel. Um, what we're going to do today is the 12 chakra meditation and beyond. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail for what each of the chakras mean because um, that's already on the beginning of the channel, but a lot of people just want to do the, the meditation. Um, it's, it's something that's been coming up again. Uh, just a couple of reminders. The, the new chakras, they don't have a specific colour. They might, might be plain white, just like an Edison light bulb, like they're turned on and might get their colours later. Um, but whatever colours they become, they are the colours that are right for you at this moment in time and they may change whereas the the old way of of doing things the, the colors or the old the old system the the seven original um they don't change color they're kind of uh set whereas all the the other uh, the all the other ones they they will change color as you need them to be um so we're going to start with a grounding meditation first uh, grounding, connecting, um, and then we're going to go straight into the 12 chakras and beyond. So we'll do that now. Also, um, don't be afraid to touch the new chakra points if it helps you to, you know, focus better. And um, it helps you find them and connect with them better. So you'll see me doing that. You'll find when I do my chakras a feather out because I'm used to doing this so often. Um, so my auras and energies and chakras have been pushed further out um, and my frequencies. So you'll find yours are not too far away, like there. Mine are, right, you know. Mine are way out. Um, so, yeah. Have a feel, have a play for them. A play, a feel for them. And um, we we will, you'll get it. You know. All right, we'll just start. Okay, so get comfortable, preferably seated, so you don't go to sleep. I'm just going to move my table. There you go. Now, Close your eyes, get comfortable. Go from your heart space, breathe into your heart space. And then we are going to follow the red and gold threads from the bottom of the heart through your body into the core of the earth. And we're going to breathe through the core of the earth. Let's keep breathing. If you have dragons down there, allow them to come up with the answer that the earth gives. Because they are here to help you for your highest, greatest good and they're from outside of time and space. So if you see them there, allow them to come up. They're here to help you. We're breathing through the core of the earth and then when the earth is ready, you'll get a, there it is, a spiralling gold ribbon coming up from the core of the earth, coming up through your body and into your heart again. Breathing through that, mixing that gold with the unconditional love in your heart. Then we have the turquoise and silver ribbon going from the top of the heart through your throat, through your pineal gland, through your crown, high consciousness portal, through your soul star, through the central sun, back to source, God, home, whatever you want to call it. And that takes a little bit longer. And then when it's ready, we'll get a silver spiraling cord or ribbon. There it comes, um, coming back down through the central sun, through the soul star, through your high consciousness portal, through your crown, into your heart. And we're mixing the silver from source, from home, 
with the gold from the earth, mixing it with unconditional love in the heart, and we're expanding it as wide as our body. As wide as our aura. Just breathing through it. Coming back into our heart space and just breathing through it, living in this space. Beautiful. This is how our soul speaks to us. When you're ready, we're going back into the core of the earth, breathing through the core of the earth. I'm going to start the tall chakra medit and beyond meditation. So breathing through the core of the earth, getting that grounding feeling. And we follow the golden thread ribbon, golden ribbon, mine's a ribbon, it's wider. Up into the base chakra, breathing through the base chakra. And again, this is a fairly quick meditation, so stay with me. On the out breath, take the golden ribbon from the base chakra to the solar plexus chakra. Sorry, to the sacral chakra, under your belly button. Breathing through the sacral chakra. Big breath in. On the out breath, take the golden ribbon from the sacral chakra to the solar plexus chakra, just under your rib cage. Breathing through the solar plexus chakra. Take a deep breath in and on the out breath, wrap the base, sacral and solar plexus chakras in your golden ribbon. That's your first triad and we're going to expand it as wide as our body. Breathing through that as one unit. This now becomes who am I, who do I want to be in this world I am creating with the abundance that I have. Ooh, very empowering for this day and age for what we need now mm -hmm. breathing through that first triad big breath in and on the out breath we take the golden ribbon from the first triad to the heart chakra breathing through the heart chakra because we've already done some work there we're moving on quickly take a deep breath in and on the out breath, take the golden ribbon to the higher heart chakra on the sternum, breathing through the higher heart chakra. And don't forget to breathe into the back of the heart and higher heart chakras. There's self-love. We need that right now. Breathing through the higher heart. And then take a deep breath in. And with the out breath, take the golden ribbon from the high heart to the throat chakra. Breathing through the throat chakra, we're having a lot of issues with speaking our truth at the moment or expressing ourselves clearly. There's a lot of coughing and uh, phlegmy stuff going around at the moment, interfering with our throat chakras. So we need to focus a little bit more on that. Beautiful. Deep breath in and on the out breath we wrap the heart, the higher heart and the throat chakras in our golden ribbon and expand it as wide as our body. Breathing through that as one unit, that is your second triad. Oh, beautiful. Deep breath in. On the out breath, we take the golden ribbon from the top of the second triad to the third eye. We're breathing through the third eye. Or the brow chakra. Deep breath in. We're going to now take the golden ribbon behind the third eye into the middle of our heads. Directly behind the third eye is the pineal gland. If you're looking for it, 
think third eye, crown, and it comes down, joins where it joins up, that's the pineal gland. So we're breathing through the pineal gland. If it's white and crusty, we're drawing light from the, through the crown into the pineal gland and mix it with the unconditional love from your heart. So bring it down the light into your heart, mix it with unconditional love, and then bring it back up into the pineal gland and wait for the fireworks or the explosion to happen. That will just, boom, take all the calcification away. Remember not to drink any more fluoridated water. And allow that to settle, breathe through it. Remember it'll be whatever colour you need it to be. It could be a series of, you know, more than one colour. That's lovely. Just breathing through the pineal gland. Take a deep breath in. And on the out breath, take your golden ribbon from the pineal gland to the chakra at the back of your head where your skull curves up from the brainstem. It's right where the skull curves. We're breathing through that chakra. used to be the back of the third eye, but it's its own one now. We're breathing through that. It's good to touch it so you know where it is and you can connect with it better. It helps really, it helps a lot with anxiety and depression, this chakra. We're wrapping the golden ribbon around the third eye, the pineal gland and the chakra at the back of the head. We're breathing through that as one unit. It is the third triad. And we're expanding that as wide as our body. We're breathing through it as one unit. Now we're taking the golden ribbon from the top of the third triad, which is where the pineal gland is, top of the pineal gland, and we're moving it, we're connecting the third triad to the crown chakra. We're breathing through the crown chakra. Mine's been very sore the last few days. So there's stuff happening there. We're just breathing through it, giving it some extra love from the heart. Drawing in the light from the top into the heart. Mixing it with unconditional love, bringing it back to the crown to heal whatever's happening there to help it work more effectively with unconditional love and light from source. Just breathing through that. Now, we take the golden ribbon from the crown chakra to the high crown or high consciousness portal. It is, um, Twelve to fifteen centimeters or eight inches above your head. Um, you can usually feel the curvature. Yeah, mine's about there, and the bottom curvature. And you're breathing through that. It's your higher consciousness portal. Your higher crown. You can feel it. Breathing through that. So you breath in and to the left of your high crown, high consciousness portal, you'll find another orb. We're we'll breathing through that one when you find it. Oh, mine's a lot further out. Okay. We're we'll breathing through that. Helps you hear spirit clearly. Hear the messages. Receive clearly. We're breathing through that orb to the left of the high consciousness or high crown portal. Now we take our golden ribbon and we wrap it 
around the crown, the high crown or high consciousness portal, and the one to the left. We're breathing through those chakras as one unit, the fourth triad. This is the last time it'll be the fourth triad. We're expanding that as wide as our body. We're going back into the earth grounding into the earth, breathing into the earth. Take the golden ribbon from the earth to our first triad, breathing through the first triad. Take the golden ribbon from the first triad to the second triad, breathing through the second triad. Take the golden ribbon from the second triad to the third triad, breathing through the third triad. Take the golden ribbon from the third triad to the fourth triad, breathing through the fourth triad. And now the fourth triad breaks open. And we look around. So is the one to the right of the higher consciousness portal open for you? Is it switched on? If not, that's okay. We can still breathe through that because that is hearing spirit like you hear me speaking now. And it will wake up when it's ready, but you can still breathe through that, whether it's on or off. And then you look above your higher consciousness portal is your soul star. That is always on because otherwise you wouldn't be here today. You wouldn't be alive. So you breathe through your soul star. And you might see other gateways and portals above that that look like mandalas. You can breathe through them. You can breathe through the central sun. You can go back home, back to source, and breathe through there if you wish. If you're feeling spaced out at any time, go back into the core of the earth and ground yourself there. Then come back into your heart space and ground yourself there. So when you do the triad breathing, you can also expand it to the width of your aura. Expand all the triads to the width of your aura. Not, as, not just the width of your body, and you can expand your aura as far as it needs to go. Um, I can't think of anything else right now to, to add to what we've just done. The more you do it, the quicker it becomes. Like, I can often just look at it now and go boom, 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 boom. And it flows like electricity really fast or running water but it's going up so yeah that I think that's all for today thank you for joining me if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me on simonesoulwings.com.au sorry no haven't got that soul that website up yet um, so uh, email simonesoulwings at gmail.com and you can message me through my Simone Soul Wings Facebook page. Um, and um, I'll talk to you soon. If I have something else to present, I'll, let, I'll do another one. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next month for the June reading. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.